Hey guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you exactly how I got this nail look right here. So these are the little hibiscus flowers that have been trending everywhere for the last few months. And I went in with a little glitter French tip and I'm going to show you exactly how I got this right now. Just going to show you my little nails that I have on at the moment. So on my left hand is the Madame Glam set that I did. I have a video about that on my channel. And then on the right is a little gel X. So popping on my gloves just when working with gel just don't want to take any chances so i am going to go straight in with this color from the brand rarism i don't know if i'm cr pronouncing that correctly but it's shade number 236 and i'm going to do two coats of this on every nail these polishes are really really good especially for a french tip so they are so such good quality polishes you get them on amazon and i believe i got a packet of six in this collection got the tip of for, for these polishes from nails slayed by val she's on youtube here she's a press on artist and she was always raving about these polishes so when i got them i could totally see why they are so so nice so i'm just going to paint two coats of this polish on and then i will come back to you for the next part of the design So next up I'm going to go in with Madame Glam's Make-A-Wish and this is a glitter gel polish from their New Year's collection. So as you can see here it is a black and gold glitter gel polish so very unusual, very standout-ish and unique. And I was really dying to use this colour and I haven't used it yet so I wanted to see what it would look like in this set. So I'm just going to paint on the French here with my detailer brush and I'm going to do two coats of this polish. So I'm going to do this French design on the index and the pinky and I'm going to let you watch me do the two coats but as a takeaway from this polish this is their Korean formula and they are made in Korea and I have to say even with doing two coats of what looks like a thickish polish the French didn't end up thick at all so that's the worry sometimes when you are doing a glitter French if you're using polish like this sometimes it can end up really uneven when you're doing it on top of say an overlay or even a press on like this but it did not look thick at all at the end it looked absolutely perfect so that korean formula is super So for the middle and the ring finger, I'm just going to go in and matte top coat these two nails because I'm going to go in with a stamping image. So I did pick up this stamping plate from Timu a while back and I looked for a link to it, but it is all sold out, unfortunately, because it is a really good quality plate. I'm just going to stamp slightly off camera as well because I was so in the zone of stamping that I just went for it and just picked up the image off camera. But I will show you the image here on the stamper. So you can see it picks up really, really well and it is a beautiful image. So I'm just going to pop it up near the cuticle area of the nail and it rolls off there beautifully. No bother at all. So then for the next nail, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I debated on picking another image, but then I decided I wanted them to match. So I picked up the same image again. But this time I just kind of rolled it on closer to the free edge. Now you are going to see my mistake here in a minute. 
So I picked it up there. I think it picked up perfectly. But whatever way when I was transfer transferring it onto the nail, you can see the edge was completely missing there. And I just tried to go in and pop it on, but it just wouldn't go on properly for me. So I'm just going to show you here. You can just see the little parts that are missing. So instead of wiping it off, because I didn't think it was that bad, I didn't want to go wiping and messing with acetone and scraping and stamping again. I just got a black liner gel from Glitter Bells. I just decided this is going to be way better than doing the whole stamping thing again. So I picked up this liner gel from um, Glitter Bells and I went in with my the smallest liner brush that I have and I just filled in the little blanks here. So that's another thing with stamping as well. If you don't get that full image on and you're, you think you're okay just to fill in the blanks with a gel polish or a gel paint close to it, I would totally go ahead and do that because no one's really gonna notice the difference. And also it does make it look a little bit more authentically hand painted. Next up, I'm just gonna go in with these dots. So I just decided that the hibiscus flowers just looked a little bit, they needed something a little bit extra and I didn't wanna to go too OTT or start doing more swirls or glitter or anything like that. So I just decided to pick up the dotting tool and go in and do a little variation of dots all around the nail. Really, they're quite small as well. I didn't go too large with the dots and I just thought it would look more elegant that way. And yeah, then I popped these in the lamp to cure. I was also debating on leaving those two middle nails matte. I thought they looked lovely matte as I was going along doing them, but then I decided to do everything glossy in the end. So let me know down below if you would have left these matte or not. And please subscribe if you made it this far. I hope you enjoyed this nail tutorial and comment down below if you have any questions about anything I've done in this video and I'll see you in the next one.